Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. It's the brother Yaraya Yasharala from the GMS Italia camp. So I decided to do this lesson in English and the title is Stop Playing Games. You know, we have to stop playing games and know what time it is really because this truth is not a game. This truth is not um is not a is not um a club. It's not a group. It's not whatever you can take it. This truth is um is life. It's salvation, you know? And you're dealing actually with the power of creation. You're dealing with a terrible with a very very terrible power. Yahweh is terrible, you know. We we need to stop playing games and being sincere with ourselves first of all, just like the apostle Gaba usually says, you know. I'm inspired to do this truth, you know, after watching the lesson from from Apostle Ramlab, you know, speaking about spies, you know. So we need to stop playing games with ourselves, you know, because whatever you do, you do for yourself. So, well, I'd like to start the lesson by reading from the book of um, Second Kings, and this is just an uh, a little story. There are lots of stuffs, lots of stories, you know, even worse than this in the scripture. But this is just one of the story I'd like to share. This is the book of um, Second Kings, Second Kings, chapter five. Sorry, chapter five, verse twenty. We're going to start from verse twenty, maybe. So anyway, um, anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, read. I don't want to keep this um this lesson too long. I'll just explain what actually happened here. So as we know, Elisha is a man of God, a man of the Most High Yahweh, a prophet of the Most High Yahweh. But why Yahweh shy? So what happened is um he has the servant whose name is um Gehazi, okay. So you know there was a time where um there is this um there is this I can't remember what now uh, let me just see um pardon me hold on So I think he is the is a prince or whatever king of Syria okay okay there we go um Okay anyway this is um this is actually Neman Neman is actually a servant to the king of Syria you know so he had um a problem of leprosy you know so they sent a letter to to the prophet Elisha telling him that you know he should help out with you know healing um healing his servant so Elisha told him to go dip himself into the water in in, in the water I think is it the river of Jordan and let's see Came to pass, yes, and clothing. Um, hold on, please. It's okay. Yeah, he told Elisha told him to dip himself in, to go wash himself in the river Jordan seven times, and his flesh is going to come back again to the normal state. To cut the long story short, you know, he actually doubted that this was going to work, you know, but. I think a couple of his servants, you know, told him to to go do so. So he went to do so, and immediately he went to do so. He saw that his um his king came back to normal. He got healed at that moment, and so he decided to go back to the prophet Elisha, to to you know to reward him with some money and some you know with some stuffs. You know, so he took with him. He he wanted to be, um reward him with is it silver and um gold, and you know, so let's see. Um, hold on. So yeah, you know he brought he took actually some things to him. You know, you see it from the verse fifteen here, chapter five fifteen. He said, and he returned to the man of power Yahweh, 
he and all his company and came and stood before him and said behold now i know that there is no power in all the earth but in yasharala now therefore i pray thee take a blessing of thy servants but he said as the lord liveth before whom i stand i will receive none and he urged him to take it but he refused so he tried to he tried to you know reward um the prophet elisha with some gift but the prophet elisha would refuse to take the the gift so what happened was you know he departed and he went his way but what happened is one of the servants of the prophet elisha whose name is um um gehazi okay gehazi so what he did was you know he played he played smart and he tried he, he, try, he tried to play smart so he went on behind and tried to block this um servant on the road the servant of the king of syria you know the man and he stopped him and he told him let's read from the scripture so this is from verse 20 but gehazi the servant of elisha the man of power yahweh said behold my master had spared a man this syrian in not receiving at his hand that which he brought but as the lord liveth i will run after him and take some word of him so gehazi followed after the man and when the man saw him running after him he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said is it all well and he said all is well my master had sent me saying behold even now there be come to me from mount ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophet give them i pray thee a talent of silver and two charges two changes of garments and Nehemiah said be content take two talents and he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him so this is what um the servant of um Elisha did Gehazi he went behind and tried to play smart you see we can't play smart on the most high you know the most high is terrible in which I'm still going to read um a few a few scriptures the most high sees everything we do on the behind let's keep reading okay and when he came to the tower he took them from his hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed but he went in and stood before his master, and Elisha said unto him, Whence comest thou, Gehazi? And he said, Thy servants went no whither. Okay, so he tried to lie to the to the apostle, um, to the to the yes, to the messenger of the Most High, to the prophet, um, Elisha, and he said unto him, Went not that went not my heart with thee, when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee. Is it a time to receive money? So you can see the most I revealed to the prophet Elisha what actually happened. So he said, Is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and only deceiving yourself you know there, there comes a time for judgment for you so now let's read from the book and you see stuffs like this we can see lots of stories like this in the scriptures there is also um if we read from the book of numbers i think chapter 16 there is a story of the sons of korah you know now let's let's just get it you know number 16 i didn't want to make this video long
so number 16 i think okay here we coming here we are so i'm still going to just cut the story short you know i'm just trying to you know pick out some points on this chapter as brothers who are really interested should go and read the whole chapter to know the more uh, the story so you know the most i gave moses in charge of the sons of yasharala so he was going through different difficult times with his people and as you know just like the book of um um the book of Ezekiel says, says, you know, we are a stiff necked people, you know, so they try to give him so much problem. Then there is this clan, this family, family of Korah, you know, so they're trying to like, you know, bring some uprising amongst the Israelites saying that, you know, uh, Moses wasn't really sent by the Most High Yahweh to, 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 to do all these things that he was doing. But what's the judgment of these people? Moses got angry and, you know, he made, he, he said that, you know, if truly the most I didn't send me to do these things, you know, the ground should open up the, its mouth and swallow you up. And this is actually what happened. So, so let's read from verse 29. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. This is Moses speaking. But if the Lord... Yahweh make a new thing and the earth open a mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them and they go down quick into the pit then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord Yahweh and it came to pass as he had made an end of speaking all these words that the ground clave asunder that was under them and the earth opened a mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods, you know. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. This is how terrible the most that Yahweh could be. And this is just a little, a little, you know, insight, you know, the most high Yahweh is terrible as we read from, is it the book of, um, well, we still get, I still have some verses that I put down. So, well, and there is another story, you know, if you read in the book of Acts, you know, when, you know, a couple were sent to, you know, I think to make payment for, uh, for a land or something like that, you know. So they actually made a plan to tell lie to the Apostle Paul, was it? And, you know, they came back, you know, as they were lying, you know, the Most High already revealed to the Apostle Paul that they were lying, you know, and they fell dead. You know, the Most High is terrible. You know, whatever you do on the behind where you think people don't see you, you know, you're only deceiving yourself because the Most High, Yahweh sees everything. He sees everything. Now let's read from the book of Proverbs. Chapter 15, verse 3. It says, The eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You know, the eyes of the Most High is in every place. You know, you can't hide your, you can't hide your thoughts. You know, you can't hide anything from the Most High. You know, all you have to do is just, you know, be the best servant you can be to the Most High, you know. Humble yourself to the Most High. Be the best servant you can be by obeying His commandments to the best of your abilities, you know. And waiting upon the return of His kingdom, you know. Going out there to teach this truth, you know. We've been commanded to do this, you know. We have to feed the sheep, you know. We have to do all these things, you know, with the right state of mind. Not to please anybody or to please the elders or the apostles or anybody, you know, salvation is something personal. You need to work your salvation yourself, you know. So now let's get the book of um, Psalm 47. This video is already getting too long. Well, it's all good. 47 two. Psalm 47 two says, For the Lord Yahweh, most high is terrible he is a great king over all the earth the most high is terrible man stop playing games man you all need to stop playing games including myself including everybody you know 
You need to stop playing games. The Most High is a terrible, is a terrible power, man. You know, and he's going to come. His son is going to return. His son Yahawasha is going to return. You know, as as the scriptures say in the book of Matthew, as a, like a thief in the night. You know, at that moment when no one really expects, that's when the Son of the Most High is going to come back. You know, already. We are already seeing the prophecies coming to pass and we're waiting for a major prophecy, which is the microchip, which is the implication of the microchip, you know. But when the microchip comes, you know, I believe that things are still going to look like, you know, there is never going to be a return and people will, you know, just, you know how Jack is, you know. Um, they get really ent enthusiastic for something for a short while when they start seeing that nothing is happening, you know, they start, you know, discrediting what they actually are meant to believe in and all of a sudden the most high son of the most high yahweh shai is going to return you know like a thief in the night you know and catch people you know unexpectedly so we need to live as if tomorrow is our last day here you know live as if tomorrow is our last day i repeat you know which is you know observing the commandments of the most high to the best of our ability you know doing all the things he has told us to do and truly these commandments are not heavy you know you know once you start you know getting used to doing these things they become like a, a, a part of your life you know they become a part of your life you know if you give yourself into you know doing the, the works of this world and stuff you know you get perfected in that and you keep doing that and you don't find it hard anymore that's the same thing just like the commandments of the most high you know my yoke uh, my yoke, my body and my yoke is not heavy, you know. I think that's in the book of John. If I'm not mistaken, someone can correct me, you know. So, hey, man, we don't have to, we don't have to play games, you know. This truth is life. This truth is everything we have, you know. The apostles have been warning and been telling us, you know, there are many brothers in, in different camps, you know. Like over here too, you know, we've had different incidences, you know. People who are just kind of like lukewarm, you know, man, you're just, you're not doing anybody, you know, you're doing yourself. That's just simple and plain because the most high is terrible. The most high could make anything happen to you. It could, you know, call judgment on you in any, any moment, you know. So let me read from the book of um, Nehemiah to close up this teaching. So this is on um, book of Nehemiah 1, 5. Oops. Nehemiah 1 5. So the book of ne Nehemiah 1 5 says, And said, I beseech thee, O Yahweh, power of heaven, the great and terrible power that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. You know. The most high is terrible, but at the same time, is merciful, very, very merciful, you know. The most high has patience, the most high is merciful, really. You know, the amount of, you know, mercy the most high can have, it's out of, you know, our thoughts. We don't, we can't, we can't contain it. We don't understand, you know. So that's why, you know, you know, we can't keep the whole commandments, you know, 100%. But if we show our interest, our 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 will, our zeal to walk the work of the most high. The most high will be merciful unto us, you know. So you don't just need to leave yourself and be like the most high is merciful, just like the Christ. That doesn't make you any different from the Christians, you know. The Christians, as you know, really um excuse the, the word I'm going to use now, they are hypocrites, just like the Muslims and all the other religions. But I want to base myself on, on the Christians, you know. They always talk about the mercy. They always talk about grace, you know. But grace comes to, um, grace and mercy comes to those who do their part in observing. Those, well, anyway, in the book of um, John, Isaiah 14, 15 says, if you love me, keep my commandments, you know. So, yeah, over here you can see it's still saying love um, those that keep the covenant and mercy, you know, for they that love and observe his commandments is not saying those that try or those that do this those that you know that love him and observe his commandments you know that's what's that's the whole duty of man you know we should try our best to keep these commandments you know let our hearts be set onto the kingdom that is coming you know this kingdom is nothing man 
His kingdom is nothing. Eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard. Just paraphrasing, you know, that which the Most High Yahweh have prepared to, for those who love Him, you know. So, you know, stop playing games out there and, you know, start start walking the right walk that you have to walk walk your salvation you know stop playing games there is no time stop playing games you all seek the most time while it's still we can still find them you know stop playing games you know stop playing games because if you play games man you're playing yourself you know the most i sees everything you know the most i sees every damn thing you know so I haven't said this. I hope um this message, you know, is edifying and I hope, you know, it enlightens someone's day. And I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elects, okay, spread around the four corners of the earth. Um, salutations from Italy and on to the next one. Shalom.